You know, every marriage in this room uh, faces some universal challenges. Uh, you know, every one of us faces universal things. Things like communication and finances and intimacy issues, raising kids. We, we all kind of have these universal things that we face. However, as, as ministers, as pastors, we have a very, we have some unique challenges that we face. And if you've been pastoring, you've been in ministry very long, it's not long after, if, unless you guys were both in ministry and then got married, if, for us, we were not that way. We got married and then came into ministry, and it was a culture shock, realizing that all of a sudden, as a pastor, that I had a set of expectations that people had for me that I didn't realize were there, not just on me personally, but on my wife, on our marriage, and on our kids. And so it was very important for us to start immediately addressing some of the unique challenges that ministers face. And so we're going to talk a little bit, and I, and I invite my wife to speak with me because she's walked with us, walk with me through all of these things, and she gives a perspective from the wife's point of view that as much as I would like to be able to communicate it to you, I could not do it justice. She understands it better than anyone, and so she's going to help me today to communicate that. And even if your wives aren't here, I pray that you would just hear because you'll walk away feeling like I can go home. And in fact, if your wife isn't here, kind of like with Pastor John here, he went home and became a hero to his wife. She wasn't there, but he took some stuff home, and all of a sudden, when he walked in the room, she had a different husband. So you can go back, and you don't even have to tell your wives they had a marriage segment of it. Just implement this stuff, and you'll look like a hero to your wives. So they won't know what happened to you while you were here. So we want to talk a little bit about those unique challenges. Ministry couples, uh, one of the challenges that we face as ministers is that we don't feel the liberty to talk about marriage issues. You know, these ministers that you pointed out that have fallen. The reason a lot of them fall is because they do not feel like they have anyone that they can talk to. I had a recently, I sat with a group of pastors and I asked them, I said, how many friends do you have? Good friends. Went around the room. None. None of, none of the guys in that circle had one really good friend that they could talk to. And the reason was that is because they were terrified to be able to share intimate details of what they were struggling with with anybody for fear that it might get back to their congregation, that it might get back to somebody on their deacon board or one of their elders, and all of a sudden their confidence would be undermined in their pastor. And so a lot of times the ministry and the marriage struggles we face, partly it's out of that fear. And listen, guys, let's just be honest. Partly it's out of pride. 